G'day guys, today I'm going to be going through the GRL 600 CHV. Brand new rotating laser from Bosch. I've got my staff, I've got my receiver, I've got my flash tripod, and I've got this massive big area to test it all out in. Stay tuned. So the GRL 600 CHV is part of Bosch's 18 volt cordless platform. In this front panel here is where the battery goes. It's currently fitted with a Procore 4 amp hour battery which is good for about 60 hours of continuous runtime. If you're not on the Bosch platform, don't worry, they've thought of that as well. In the kit, they give you this gadget that allows you to fit four regular D batteries, which will give you about 70 hours of runtime. Once the adapter or the battery is fitted into the device, you have a nice big rubber seal on the front here. When you close the door and lock it off, this device is now rated for IP68 which means dust and water ingress is all but eliminated. So say you're working on site, you're set up, you're doing levels, and a brief storm comes over, you're not having to run out and grab the device and put it away. It can just weather the storm, go back to work as soon as it's over. That's a really cool feature. It means you're gonna have minimal downtime in, in pack up and set up, just for a bit of water. This is built for the site, as you can see by its tough external structure. All right, so I've got the laser set up on the tripod. I'm just gonna quickly show you the area we're working with today. So it's a large civil site. There's uh, quite a bit of plant, a heavy plant on this site, um, but none of it's in operation today, so that's why we're here. Um, got the staff on the receiver. So I'm just gonna quickly run through um, the initial setup and the features, and, uh, and we'll start taking some heights and some measurements. All right, so we're gonna turn the laser on now. When you turn it on, on the screen here, it comes up with the uh, time it's been operating, a serial number, and also the software version. It does self-level from default, as most rotating lasers do. It'll start to scan, get itself all sorted, and then it'll come up with this home screen here. Now, if you want to turn off the automatic leveling function, you use this button here. You use that if you're going to be working within, I think it's 8.5% grade, um, in terms of your dual slope. Your XY function as well, uh, dialing in your, your grades, both up and down buttons here, as well as clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation. Now this is your sweep button, so it means if you're working on a site and there's other measuring devices um, that it could be interfering with, with the receivers, you can cycle through this button and you can set it so you're not going to be interfering uh, with those other devices. You keep it working in the area in which you're based. You also change your speed um, with this button here. This little symbol in the middle represents the speed, so you have 150, 300 or 600 RPM. It's currently defaults from 300. You have your Bluetooth button with your Bluetooth symbol on the screen, your battery indicator and obviously your XY axis is both at zero percentage at the moment because you're level. Now the ADS um, function is this little icon up the top. When you bump the laser, as I'll demonstrate right now, it stops, an alarm will sound to say that it's been moved and then you override that by pressing OK and then it goes back into self-leveling again. All right, so now I'm gonna run you through the receiver. So we'll turn it on. So as with most receivers, you have your screen, you have a 125 mil receiver. You got a screen on both sides as well. Plus you've got LED indicator lights as well as audible signal. So you can change your sounds, you can dial in your XY axis from your receiver um, and you can also adjust uh, the accuracy of it as well. So a cool thing with this receiver is it works within 0.5 of a millimetre of your laser line. So you can see as I'm moving it up and down, it's giving me a readout to when I'm hitting my line and it does that in millimetres. This is really handy. All right, so what I want to demonstrate now is a slope function. So as you can see, the laser's leveled, 0% uh, on both the X and Y axis. And on the top here, you'll see X is from the front of the laser and away, and the Y is across. So using the LR60 receiver, we're gonna go for a walk down into this little dip here. And we're going to find out what grade this is. So I've come down to the bottom. So we'll make sure we stay on our X-axis in front of the laser, which is about here. 
So using the LR60, we'll hold this button here and it'll come up CFX. So that means center find on the X axis. If you want to use the Y axis, you hold those two buttons together, the center find and the Y. So we'll get out of the receiver's way and let it do its thing. So on the back of the receiver, it's got obviously it's got a second screen and you can see it shows battery indication for the laser as well as the receiver, which is pretty cool. As with most receivers, you can dial in or uh, adjust the volume. Um, and there we are, already. So the arrows pointing down means that the laser's fine. It, it's found the receiver and it's just dialing in the height. I'll try and keep it as steady as possible. Um, it's a bit windy here today. So it's just fine tuning it. We're not the best doing this one-handed, but we'll see how we go. So what it's going to do is when it's happy with that height, as long as I can keep my arm steady, it'll come up. There we go, X OK. So that's OK on the X axis. So that means it's got that height. So we can walk up to the laser now, and on the screen, it's going to show us what our percentage was. And just like that, we're on the x-axis, we're 5.32%. So that is the grade into that ditch. Now we want to find the height on the y-axis. We do, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that separate, but we do hold them together. And there we are, CFY. So I'm going to go walk down this way on the Y axis. And we'll see what percentage that's going to be. Uh, for argument's sake, let's crank the staff all the way up and get a negative reading. So there we are, we're, we're a lot higher than the, than the laser. And we're on the Y axis. Try and minimise the glare. Maybe move over a tad, just to make sure we're still in that wire plane. And exactly the same as before. There we are. So arrows, have, it's found the receiver. Now the way these two devices talk to each other, as I mentioned before, is through Bluetooth. So there's also a remote control that comes in the kit, as I've shown. And so that operates on Bluetooth as well. So again, I'll try and hold her as steady as possible. There we are, Y okay. So now we'll go back to the, the laser. No more annoying sounds. And as you can see, the head has tilted in, to in the top. That's how it gets both grades. So we're plus 5.2 and plus 2.6 on the Y axis. And so you can have a negative as well as a positive Double positive, double negative. Because the way it it, it uh, moves up the top doesn't matter. As long as you're within that 8.5% uh, range, you can do both grades. So for a site like this where you've got multiple slopes, you've got level planes, um, or you've got uh, various, uh, various dips in different spots, this is perfect. You can set it all up just using the one device. I would like to mention though, uh, you can set up multiple receivers with this as well so if you're working with a crew and you want to do different grades and remember the uh, GRL 600 has a radius of 300 meters which is all the way down past that boab tree oops sorry excuse the fingers so that's past there and you'll still get a height no dramas so you can set up multiple receivers uh, using the one laser. So you can have one uh, receiver set at an x-axis, the other receiver set at a y-axis, so you're not having to uh, rack up as many k's either. But that's what the device is capable of doing. Pretty cool. Alright, so what we're going to do now, uh, we've got the laser leveled, um, as represented on the screen with the 0% um, the grade on the x and y. 
So what we'll do is we're going to dial in a, a grade on the x-axis. Now you can dial in a grade on x, a y or both depending on the kind of work you're doing. And to do that you press this button down the bottom. And it comes up with this little screen here and it gives you the option to go the x or the y. Oh, it's gone away. So you click that and up the chopper changes. So we're going to go on the x, x axis there. So what we're going to do is we're going to dial that up on the x-axis. So we've got, you just hold the, the arrows to get your grade. So just for this demonstration, I'll, I'll dial it up to about 5% because we've got a good bit of fall. So our x-axis is plus 5 and our y-axis is going to be at 0. So as indicated by this little LED here and on the screen, it's now going to set the top of the the laser itself at its x-axis only. So we'll go down the bottom and we'll see where we can find our grade. Alright so we've got the laser set at plus five percent on the x-axis. So the x-axis is the face of the laser and away or behind the laser and away. The y-axis is across it and as I've demonstrated it's got the markings on top of the laser. So what we're going to do is with this receiver we're going to walk down into that little dip and we're going to find where plus five percent is. This is great for doing cut and fill. On this uh, scenario here you've got drainage. We'll walk down we'll find our height and then I'll also demonstrate we'll go down the y-axis but it'll still be leveled. So you want the top of your plane nice and level but you still want to get your fall. This device does it without having to have an additional laser set up. So we'll walk down now and we'll get that height. Been able to demonstrate is you need to set a percentage um, using the, the laser itself or you can find a, a height and then you can then translate that around as well all right so in this massive big box full of this real nice rigid foam um, this is the kit as um, it comes so start from left to right you have your um, 18 volt charger um, it comes with four AA batteries for the LR60 receiver and also for the Bluetooth remote control the batteries are installed in both of those you get four of these D batteries for the BA1 um, battery adapter so as I've previously explained this laser can run on either a 18 volt uh, battery, pro core battery, um, comes with a 4 amp. It'll go up to an 8, which is one of these. Um, it won't fit a 12 because the uh, door is too small. But as I've also said, um, on one pro core battery, uh, 4 amp, you'll get about 60 hours runtime. And using the D batteries with this, you'll get about 70 hours of runtime. Um, it also, because you can run multiple receivers at once, it also has a spot for a second receiver in this little section here. Um, obviously the receiver itself with the bracket. Um, and then it also has a nice big wall bracket as well. So you can mount that uh, for horizontal or for vertical, um, depending on what you're doing. Um, so I'll try and put this back in now. In there it also has a strap for um, carrying the tripod so you can put the strap around the whole box and you can carry your tripod and your staff with it as well um, obviously your red goggles for seeing the laser in um, outdoor and obviously your little target as well um, big manual for the 
laser itself and you also get one for the LR60. Um, and that's pretty much it.